Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another video. So I have to take a break from my unboxing of new figures to show you a vintage Masters of the Universe lot. A uh, couple lots, but one really big one I got right here. Uh, I'm going to add some key pieces to my vintage Masters of the Universe collection and uh, have a lot of good stuff up for sale. So I uh, hope you enjoy. Let's check it out. So welcome into my channel. If you like what you see, please like, comment, and subscribe for more toy videos, 80s, 90s, nostalgic videos, and things of that nature. All right, guys, I got a lot here of epic proportions. Um, paid a pretty penny, but there was some pretty interesting stuff in here. Uh, some stuff I needed for my collection, and I think a lot of possible upgrades for my collection. Uh, so I want to show you this stuff. Uh, here's a one table right here. And then got this pillowcase here and then accessories over here on this table. So taking a look over here. Yeah, there was two battle cats in there. These are 1982, 1983 battle cats. Um, very nice condition, unbroken. Uh, don't know if that's anything I need to worry about upgrading on my collection, but they're neat. There's a really neat Panthor here. Unfortunately, some kind of color fifth fading, almost like some laundry detergent got on him or something i don't know what the heck happened otherwise look at the eyes on that panther that would have been a great one too bad it has some discoloration to it otherwise a really nice panther though unbroken saddle that's disappointing we had a zoar in there and uh that's nice i have him but uh accessory wise i got a lot of stuff that in this lot is complete so we'll get into that uh nice complete road ripper all the decals really nice. I have to compare that against my Road Ripper. Uh, this one seems like it might be a, uh, an upgrade, complete with Ripper. Got another Dragon Walker. Um, I can see the battery compartment's corroded. Dragon Walker is usually that's the case, right? Speaking of case, there's a very nice collector's case. Uh, both of the trays are in there. Very nice condition. So, I got my one Masters of the Universe collector's case as I used to to stand up there um this one's a good one we got a maybe a complete modulock here i haven't looked at all the pieces but more importantly we had the uh modulock manual it was really cool i'm gonna add that to my collection and then first piece i'm adding to my collection uh, i was missing half of this modulock gun so now i have the complete modulock weapon so I still have another half piece I can throw with that Modulock because I, I got a complete Modulock, of course, but um, needed that gun. Now I well now I have a complete Modulock. All right, we got some figures here that are in poor condition. Not all of them. Uh, this uh, Buzz Off is in really nice condition. Look at that. Hardly any paint wear at all. Usually there'll be some scuffs on the yellow. There's hardly any, and the face is immaculate. Tight legs. Got the wings, and he's actually complete. I have his accessories. I'll show you that later. And we got a naked uh, man at arms. He's okay. We had a Mexico trap jaw. He's all right. Got a little bit of a uh, crotch rot. We got a Zodak that would be okay. Just has some gunk on him. And we got a really poor condition, uh, dingy old uh, Prince Adam. We had a Thundercat with a, an accessory on, on his hand. Uh, I'm not too savvy on Thundercats, so I have a couple more that. I need to either throw up in a lot or individually sell. Here's a very solid Mexico uh, Triclops. Man, just such a solid figure. Very nice. Hardly anything wrong with him. The only thing is with the Mexico variant, the orange on his armor is a little bit not as bright. But uh, that's a great, that's a nice figure right there. And another nice figure. Here's a really nice Prince Adam. Um, clothes are a little bit wrinkled, but other than that, he's got a tight belt, actually. That belt is really ultra tight, and condition-wise, all around, he looks really, really good. He's got a minor little paint thing on the one little part of his hair. Otherwise, he's really good condition, Prince Adam. That's a really nice figure. We do have a 1981 Taiwan He-Man. This He-Man, his left leg bows a little bit more than normal he's got some paint slop on his painting as well there's just something about him uh, he may be an older variant or something i'm not sure or maybe a younger variant 1981 taiwan uh but again the head paint hardly anything 
hardly any paint wear. There's a little bit right there, but hardly any. He does have a little arm socket issue where one of the sockets got kind of messed up a little bit. But that could be remedied. But yeah, there's one, something about that one leg. I can tell it's not, it's a little bit more bowed than your normal He-Man leg. Check this thing out. Is this like a bath toy? Vintage He-Man bath toy on the Dragon Walker? Or like a soap holder or something? I don't know. 1984 Mattel. Never seen that before. What do you guys think of that? Pretty cool stuff. Uh, we got another complete slime pit. Very nice condition slime pit. Uh, complete with skull. Yeah, that's a really shiny slime pit. <laughs> that didn't make sense. Okay. And we got a Tila. Really nice headdress. Otherwise, nothing super special, but uh, I don't know. I'm almost considering like swapping it out with my Tila because my headdress has a little break on the plastic back there. But uh, it's a pretty decent figure. Here's a really nice, colorful man at arms. Um, He's complete, really nice, very, very nice paint. Not bad, not bad at all. Got a really nice mecha neck. He's a Mexico mecha neck, uh, but he, that means he's really solidly made with this, the legs, but uh, man, hardly any paint missing off his head, his, his visor and everything. Uh, very nice figure. That's a very nice figure. All right, we got a couple fakers. This one, they're both complete with sticker. This one has loose legs and he's kind of got some paint wear and stuff. He's okay. Uh, otherwise, he's got his armor and his sticker and otherwise all right. He's just got some play wear. Uh, this faker, he does have a little bit of slight looseness to his legs. His armor is okay. It needs to be re or rearranged. Um, but look at that paint, man. That's got to be some of the nicest faker hair, head paint I've ever seen. Yeah, that's a pretty immaculate faker. I'm considering swapping him out with my faker, even though his leg, his right leg is a little bit wonky. Um, on a stand, it's not going to matter too much, right? Um, very nice faker. Then we got uh, a very, very nice Ram Man. Look at this Ram Man. Hardly any paint wear. Complete with axe. Okay, so I needed the axe for my collection, believe it or not. Kind of a common accessory, you would think. But I still had not yet not yet acquired one. Um, yeah. Look at the gauntlets. This one has a little bit of... I don't know. Where the plastic like liner separated a little bit but this one over here looks like brand new yeah this is definitely an upgrade for my ram man because it's really hard to find one with like pretty much no paint wear look at that that's a nice ram man we got uh manny faces nothing to talk about really uh battle armor he uh, skeletor got the crotch rot but he works and he's solid figure and everything got nice face paint we got a merman he has a little bit of crotch rod as well and uh, legs are slightly wonky but he is complete and we got a nice pretty decent evil Lynn. one tiny little scuff on her helm there she is complete we got an orco just loose nothing else and here's an interesting bonus figure there's a peach cheek skeletor in this lot so there he is the peach cheek skeletor variant half boot purple trunks his legs are pretty loose and his armor is pretty beat up. But uh hey, there's the peach cheek variant. A lot of some people are trying to get that. We got an attack track complete. Decals are okay. Don't know if it works, but most importantly, the battery cover is there, baby. That's what I was missing for my attack track to make mine complete. So there we have it. Completing my attack track today. All right, moving this way, there was a uh, nice Masters of the Universe pillowcase, 1983. I don't see any stains on it, like off first inspection. 
So that's a pretty neat little piece. Might have to, no, I ain't gonna sleep, use it. <laughs> I put it eventually get dirty. Okay, over here, accessories. All right, so there was a complete Snake Mountain bridge system in there, unbroken. That's a nice bonus accessory. We got a complete unbroken weapons rack. Uh, the weapons are almost complete. <laughs> it doesn't have the little pistol, unfortunately. That's the one I need. We got a nice uh, Castle Grayskull ladder. We have the weapons trainer base, which I was actually missing. So there we go, complete my weapons trainer. And I needed this. Now I have a complete Zor. So there's the pedestal for Zor. And then the uh, Snake Mountain Snake is there too. So that's pretty cool. Then we got all these accessories. Um, how, does anybody know what this is? I'm not familiar with this thing. And then there's some kind of battery cover here. I'm not, unaware of what that would go to, but have to hang on to it. And a random missile, don't know what that's for. But then we got the accessories here to, uh, well, there's a trap job belt, that doesn't complete him. But uh, here's the final trap jaw accessory I was actually missing, so now I got a complete trap jaw. And we got uh, the Zodak Blaster to complete the Zodak. We got a Man-at-Arms Mace to complete Man-at-Arms. We got the uh, Mechanic Mace to complete Mechanic. We got the Evil Lin uh, Wand to complete Evil Lin. Man-at-Arms Pistol to complete Man-at-Arms. Uh, Buzz Off's Axe and his Headpiece to complete Buzz Off. That was a nice Buzz Off, wow. Uh, we got complete He-Man accessories, axe, shield, and sword. These are uh, this is a Taiwan sword. We've got uh, Merman's sword to complete Merman. And then we've got a uh, complete uh, Skeletor accessories. This is a USA Skeletor sword, very nice condition, unbroken. Uh, then we've got uh, Prince Adam Taiwan sword, very nice, unbroken. And then we've got uh, Faker sword. Uh, very nice condition as well. Is that a Taiwan? Yep. It has some kind of little plastic thing right there. Interesting. All right, guys, I got a sweet lot to show off. Uh, just four figures that came in this lot. I paid a pretty good price for them, but uh, for what I have here, uh, I'm not disappointed. Uh, we got... Thunder Punch He-Man, he's okay, okay condition. Um, just throw him back up for resale, but there was a Thunder Punch He-Man. It's all He-Man heads figures in this one. <laughs> so we got the Thunder Punch He-Man, and we had a Prince Adam. He's pretty nice, he's okay. He's got a few little blemishes on him, but he's got his belt and his vest, and his head is, is decent. Um, I have a sword to throw with him to throw him up for sale. Um, hopefully make some of my money back. Belt's a little bit loose, but there's a nice Prince Adam in there. And then we have a pretty decent He-Man. The legs are tight, but he does have the, the darkening, the crotch rot. There's a little pen mark there too. I'll have to clean him up a little bit. He seems to be pretty decent of a He-Man, a 1981 Taiwan He-Man. Does have some paint wear on the head, but it's not too bad, too, too bad. Uh, he has his power harness at least, so there's another nice eight, 1981 He-Man. Uh, not not sure if I want to try to complete him out. Maybe I will. I guess with He-Man, it's always better to try to complete him out with his weapons and try to sell him. I just don't... I'm not too happy with the condition of the legs. We'll see how he cleans up. But for my collection, the reason why I bought this lot was for this guy right here. We have a Faker. Uh, pretty decent condition. He's got his sticker, he's got his armor, and he looks pretty good. Uh, but the reason why I was really excited about this one is because this is a hardhead faker, Malaysia hardhead faker. So there it is, got it in my collection now, looking pretty nice. I think these blemishes on the face hopefully are just dirt, but I got to be careful because I know that I know that this this is paint actually on the face this time. Uh, you know, the face itself the is is painted onto the red head. I'm pretty sure. So I'll be really careful because I don't want to just accidentally rub off some paint and make more red show. In fact, I might not even touch it. You know, the face ain't, ain't too bad the way it is. But um, I don't know, he looks, he looks pretty good. Um, 
compared to a Taiwan, you know, I think, or, what are these? these were Taiwan, right? Yeah, 1981 Taiwan Faker. I noticed some differences, uh, obviously, other than the hard head, but uh, little differences like the plastic is more shiny. Um, to me, that shininess makes the like the arms look thicker and the legs, and the the feet seem to be a little bit thicker as well. But just the head itself looks a lot different uh, because of the reverse paint job and um yeah it's pretty cool get a sword for him and call him a uh, complete in my collection there is a slight change in color like discoloration almost on the body the torso but to me it's not a big deal oh uh, the paint is a little bit different back here it was like they cut they stopped painting the cutoff of the paint doesn't cover the whole back of the boot see that actually all the way around so there's another kind of unique identifier yeah interesting variant pretty neat glad to have it in my collection oh yeah speaking of the in the background here I got that uh, Tongo right there so I had the arms that I found in a toy lot his arms so I was waiting for somebody to put for sale one with no arms and somebody did so I grabbed it up for like 10 bucks and I had the arms already so now I got four black star figures so pretty cool got a spot for hardhead faker over here in special land with my different Skeletor variant one of my Skeletor variants I threw the other Skeletor variant uh, over here on Spydor but I got it with my extra scare glow and my dark grizzlor. So pretty cool. Very satisfying, impressive figure to me. All right, guys. Well, tell me what you think of those lots. Uh, obviously, what doesn't upgrade or go in my collection is going to have to throw it on eBay to make some money back and hopefully make a little profit. But uh, at least make my money back on this. I did not get it for super cheap. Uh, but I think the value is there for what that what I got it for so uh, and Some pretty interesting stuff, and I hope it made a good video. I hope you guys enjoyed Please like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one